facing the citadel, yeah. the one that we are going to visit uh, later. There are many excavations still uh, running, you know, in, uh, in there. So every time, every excavation season, they would discover new update information about, you know, the, the Roman time. But in general, we are more knowledgeable about the Roman history. I mean, it's much more clear, clearer, um, more clear than, than the other, you know, ages. Uh, guys, it, it was really a surprise for me because uh, the site that I was talking about, I have gentlemen here who got in, involved in the excavation for that Catholic age. You know, Ein Gazal, which is a uh, surprise, big surprise for me. You know, guys, we are uh, you are standing in this part of the city, which used to be like a Oval uh, Plaza Forum. And the Cardo, the Caronade Street, is supposed to be running, you know, uh, like uh, east, uh, sorry, um, east west, yes. Uh, but you know, after the um, reuse and you know the, the local people, they reuse the material for construction new modern houses, and they change a lot in the details of the city. Uh, we have in the right side here the atrium. It's it's like a small uh, theater, much much smaller than this one, but it was used for like uh, the residence of the city council. Uh, it's like a small parliament um, and we have uh, you know uh, the, uh, the theater this one 
it's considered as the largest one in Jordan. It can host 6,000 audience. And in conversion with the one in Jarash City, for example, in the north, uh, it's like 2,000 audience more than that one. And usually they can assume the population of the city according to the size of the theater. So it's like uh, 6,000 people, maybe they are talking about 30, 40 something uh, thousand people used to live in Amman city in that time. And you know the reason of the foundation of this city in, in here is the water source. Just a few kilometers away from here, farther to the east, there is a, a river. And that river, it's, it's funny nowadays because if you go there, you would find like it's covered. It's um, under aqueducts now and it's like more like small stream. But in the old days, it was big river. And even it was mentioned in the Old Testament under the name of Yabuk River. Yabuk or Jabuk River. We call it in Jordan Zerka River. And the Roman in the Roman time, they used to call it the Golden River. It was the source of life for Amman city and for Jarash city. Because it's, it flows, you know, uh, to the north where Jarash is. Um, because of the, you know, the water source, um, Amman city flourished. The other reason is its, you know, uh, environment, its nature as a mountainy and that's like a more uh, easy, easier, much easier to defend the city. When they found this theater, they come to a natural slope and they built the seats against the slope. And that's what they normally do, Greeks and Romans. And you know, you would find the orientation of the theater always comes from uh, south to north, except for some exceptions like the one in Petra city, for example, it comes west, east. And the one in uh, another Roman city is called Gadara. It's located in front of the Sea of Galilee. That one also comes uh, west and east. So we, we go inside. That's it. is the old drain uh, age system. But that one in the middle, it was like the restoration. But they tried to do it in the same way, in the same process, by using the fish. You know, always the dolphins or the fish symbolize water or wine. This is the cross here, and once you step in it, and you try to say anything, you feel the echo keeps running all around. Ooh. Say something. Hello. 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 <laughs> That's good. Right, you see. <laughs> there you go. There's a spot here. Yeah. It's, it's right here. It's right here. Go there and say Luca. Shut up. Very loud. What do you guys can't say it kind of loud. What? Step, step, step in here. Stand on the, on the yep. cross. On the face, this, face this way, like where everyone's watching you. And say, Luca. Luca. Oh, really loud. Luca. Louder. <laughs> okay. There you go. I can feel you. Oh, you have to stand there and say something loud. Luca. Luca. If you go there, you know, where the stone here, and you have to whisper something, and we go there, we can do it. Try it. <coughs> Sitting here, and you try to say something, and there's one there, yeah. so you can hear each other. Can you, you say to me? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yes, I could hear. <laughs> oh my god! It's like a speaker. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Where like does it Wow! Are new, so they just Where are you from? Turkey. Oh, you have a lot. Yes. Okay. So just like. Okay, just like that. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going
ersten Mal, das sieht ja auch mit der gar nicht mal so schlecht aus. Ja, jetzt machen wir noch mal eine anderen. Nee, steh doch mal mit Carola mit rein, damit man einfach das Ding sieht und ich sitze da drauf. Mich braucht man nicht so sehr. Just to the just to the door. Are you polarized? No.
where the wise, the wise men. Dressing rooms in there, I think. Oh, okay. So we'll go through there and then we'll go back there. Yeah, if she comes out and time to see it. Fourteen. We are four, we are all sixteen together. Uh, one of us in the shop. Uh, Maybe in the restroom. Yeah, yeah, I count. Some. I count. Some. Yeah, some. Anyway, uh, you some. see, my friends, uh, before we start, uh, you can see like four monuments here. Each one uh, is telling a different uh, story, different age, different chronology of the site. So starting from Rabat Amun. Look, this is the biblical name for for this city. It was called Rabat Amun. Rabat. Rabat or Rabba means like uh, the small mountain. Amun, you know, is the, uh, uh, the the name of the great or great great grandfather of you know that uh, dynasty. Uh, and that name was used uh, since 5,500 years BC all the way until the beginning of uh, the Roman time, 63 BC. Then uh, Philadelphia, this name start to be used during the classical ages. You know, uh, Nabatian, Roman, Byzantine. You know, when you say Nabatian, this was like in the same time with the Romans. But the Nabatians controlled the south part of Jordan and the Ro Romans remained in the north. And then you find Amman. This is the Arabic name that was given to the city. And it, the name itself, it came after the ancient name. It's like Amman, Amun. It's almost the same pronunciation. Uh, and you know, the, the Muslim dynasty, let's say the first one, the Umayyad period, uh, you know, the ones who ruled uh, in the 7th and in the 8th century AD, those people, they cared the, mo the most about the city because the capital city for the Umayyad people was Damascus, which is just next door to here. It's very close. That's why they cared about Amman city as the city that was located on 
the way to Damascus uh, or on the way uh, between Damascus and the Arabian Peninsula, which is the, you know, the holy sites, uh, Mecca, Medina for the Muslims. So it had uh, like a strategic location for that dynasty. And that's why you would find most of the remains that left in here dating back to the Umayyadi people. And you would not find uh, that much artifacts or remains dating back to the following dynasties, uh, Abbasi or uh, you know, all the way until the uh, Ottoman, uh, the Turkish Ottoman Empire, uh, until 1916. So uh, you'd find the, the fourth name here. Uh, it's uh, it's written on it uh, like uh, the citadel, and this is the English name that was given to the to this site uh, during the English mandate, uh, which uh, remained you know uh, uh, until 1946. Um, we are going to uh, make a circle, like round, we start from here. Uh, we are going to pass by the water system part of the site, and then we climb up where the columns are. That would give you like a, a wide panoramic view for the surrounding mountains. Then we pass by where the massive columns are, that is Hercules Timber. Oh. And then we go to the Byzantine part of the city. You would find all those monuments close together, you know, like in one site, but different chronology. Byzantine uh, uh, church and then we go to the Islamic part of the city and then you would have a free time uh, to be you know uh, to meet you at the gate Look, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Daddy, I saw this from a now, the taste of the downtown, beside the tourism mm -hmm. issue that we do now, it starts in the evening. It's like uh, but, uh, five, uh, five, uh, five in the evening. Uh, it's, it's not possible. And uh, as, as for me, I, I cannot. Uh, you can do you stay in which one and and seas? Taxi from seas to here is most something like five dinner maximum. Or you can download uh, one of the applications. Uber or oh uh, no, it's um, for us. Uh, it's for my um, mobile, actually, it's possible and for all of us. So also, yep. we had also Wi-Fi. Mm. Uh, we had only. So yeah, the could be. For how many days? You are living with so what what about the coming do you still have that This is a good corn. It's mm -hmm. testing the car. Yeah. You know, Nike, usually she's, uh, you would find the head of uh, Nike is always with the uh, city wall on her head. She's like the protector of the, of the city. There is a very interesting thing about Nike in Petra city. Later, when you go to Petra, you would find that the treasury, you know, that beautiful, like the most detailed facade. When you are just 50, 60 meters away from that facade, 
it's still hidden by the mountains. But there is a corner, if you step on it, you would see that the, uh, in purpose, the Nabataeans, they wanted to show their facade from distance while the whole thing is hidden, except for Nike. You know, the winged woman. It's like, it's like the first thing you would see. The whole thing is hidden. Only Nike is, 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 can be seen. And that's why, that's to say like, uh, uh, it's the city protector, you know. Um, here, we, where we are standing, uh, you, you can tell that there are some uh, recent excavations around. And uh, what they are uh, excavating here is like is the that? aqueducts and the water system. What is that? What is that? You know, they used in that time, uh, like water wheels to get the water uh, up to here from uh, the river. Uh, this Nabatian, uh, this Roman clay. When you go to Petra, you look at the, at, the, at the ground everywhere, but you know, in, in Petra, the Nabatian clay is more very, very thin. They call it the eggshell, right? So it's more uh, professional. Yeah. Good picture out of here. No, 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 no. No, but you know, it's not. Uh, they still like don't you have flat now. space. Don't leave this now. Half of the tour. Sorry. Look, Daddy. There's that school. There's the school. You guys, out of uh, that new discovery here, uh, they found also a mosaic floor. And uh, it looks like uh, with a detailed colors creation. This one's uh, one of the uh, Byzantine, uh, similar Byzantine chairs we found in here. We are going to see more too up there, but they don't come with a, with a mosaic as professional as this one. You know, you, you look to the panoramic view, uh, those mountains here, uh, you see right down at uh, the bottom of the valley there is uh, the minaret of Al Husseini Mosque. This one is the oldest one in Jordan. Uh, it was founded like uh, 1000 years ago and then uh, the Ottomans, the Turks, they restored it and then the Jordanian restored it again you know, in the, uh, like 100 years ago. <laughs> and there is another, there is black, black and white mosque. That one is uh, called uh, uh, Abu Darwish Mosque. It's like uh, a basalt and limestone, that's why it's quite famous for its color. No, 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 no. Yeah, you know the material, uh, the, the bricks they used. Uh, Excuse me. Are you getting back to the first place? Who is the Mohammed? Yes, ask me. So I, I don't know where that temple is. Where, where is it? Where the mosque is. The black and white? Is this this one you see? There's, there's like a square with a door. Uh, whenever you want to go to here, there is a, there is a, a nice uh, the, the temple would be background. <laughs> no, like, no, like, is, is that like scattered about how how they found? Like, how did they get that up there? 
very careful. You want to take for you? And that one was used as a like a it's like yeah naturally uh, it's like a natural rock and oh. it was used to be like uh, the core the center of the temple mm. because it's dating back to time much earlier than the Romans it's dating back to the time of the Ammonites and they used that natural rock to be like A L T E R altar to give oh, animal sacrifices when the Romans came they built the temple on it and they enlarged it you know and they added the front yard the columns so it's called flint huh? Uh, sometimes we find the same concept, the same plant, but it comes more pointed. You know what they use it for? To be arrowhead. Yeah, uh, that's what So, uh, as it is, we, they did not like uh, uh, destroy the temple. It, it seems like there, there was a big tolerance among you know the different dynasties and different religions in, in, in here in Madaba and uh, Amman city. And that's why you'd find the temple next to it is the Byzantine church and then next to it is the uh, royal palace for the Muslim uh, governors. Royal palace has been built at what time? Uh, 8th century AD. This is the time of the Umayyad. Have you heard about the Umayyad? Yeah. yeah. They are the, the ones who cared more about Amman and they left many remains. You know there is a palace in... Yeah, there is a mosque. Uh, uh, no, the dome is not mosque. The dome is the mosque is just in front of it. The dome is a royal palace, uh, but you know it's just the reception. That was the stack. I would say a palace. Probably, yeah. So the ruins after this too. They look all look like they're from the same piece. I'll get it away. You don't want anything more. I just got a photo with no one in it, even though six people behind, because we walk blocked every single person. What are you doing? No, I'm going to go up and do it. Samantha, how smart. Yes, yeah. You need it for photogenic purposes. I'm going to get you to take a photo. It's really hard. This is not the bridge. This one you mean? Yeah. yeah. Without it, uh, the apps of the church. It's like when they, you know, when they go to church, they speak. There's the, the plans of this the church. Early one. I never even, I never even knew that it was like stuff like this. Yeah. When I first arrived, I was like, nah, no, like no. Uh, it, it was like a small one, and then it it was enlarged. Uh, you know, dating back to the 6th century AD, uh, where the apse here, and you know, it's typical uh, basilica church with, with the two rows of columns, and you know, but they used here uh, like a very simple um, mosaic. Uh, they, it's all plain, you know, without colors, which uh, means that like it was done in a, in a very simple way, quick. Uh, we are walking where the seat is, and that would be, you know, the highest, almost the highest. Top uh, of the citadel, so you'll be able to see the surrounding mountains. Um, and Hussein, and we are heading to um, that sophisticated water system that was done by the Romans and reused by uh, Byzantine and by Muslims as it is or as it was. There's not a lot of, it's not ruined as much. Look. Yeah, 
Yeah, so if we could just do that, then remember you had that. So in here you would see the, the difference between the old part of the city and the modern part of Amman. Because this is just like uh, eight, nine years ago. Okay, yeah. When you were here, that was which 1989. Oh, so 33 time. years ago. 89. Yeah. Oh, wow. 33 years ago. <laughs> I was. Uh, uh, is Roman uh, uh, remains, and uh, we you would see also the um, the Roman path, which comes like three sections. But you know it was reused by the the Muslim governor to be a part of his palace. Well, this is a nice place to have. Imagine in that time there were no computers around, so now they were also in water sources. So, what is it? Not necessarily something because the soil is fertile, so it's, I mean, in the springtime, you'd find it all good. Which class are you? I mean, at the school, which class? Yes, I'm on What about you? You can ride horse. Oh yeah, he does. This is a big part of the And this one is considered like the highest in the world. The highest in the world. And then other countries in the world. Oh, it's, it's, it's the highest in the world. It's the highest uh, post. Yes, but... Uh, why, why, uh, this yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the I'm Yanina. We are celebrating the nice to meet you. 100th years of the of the foundation of this Those nappies went. From outside and from inside, you would find they decorated the palace with the niches from inside and outside, which were yeah. pagan things. For praying. Uh, like the mosque. Yeah, but they used them just to creation. 
Oh. Yeah. You know, uh, originally they were used by the Romans to, you know, for, for gods and deities. And, yeah, but here just for decoration. Okay. Yeah. Das wird richtig massiert. Alle alles da, na klar. جواب طلع منك على السريع انه اولادك يروحوا هناك لا بفكر اه They have been uh, once to Syria. Uh, so you know, here where we are now, this is the what we call it here among the Jordanians. We call it the Syrian house. It's the plan. The the, the plan for. Uh, the palace is the same plan for the small houses that we are going to see later, you know, back behind this one. So it's like, uh, you know, when, when you are walking in, in Damascus, and I always say that, you walk through a very narrow street in the old downtown, maybe you have seen that. Then you see small doors, you think it's a small house inside. So you open up the door and you find big palace inside. Yes. So it's like the doorway, and then uh, they have big space to be like a front yard. And usually it's planted by trees or columns like they did here. You know, they decorated it with columns. And then you find the water source right in the middle. The water well right in the middle here. And then uh, here they added like the mosque, you know, because it's like more public place. So the steps lead to that doorway, which is the doorway of the mosque. And you know, the whole walls collapsed, the roof, but we can see. I mean, later when we go there, you can still see the apps, the uh, and the columns, you know, that uh, were used to make the, the, the lines of the prayers straight. Uh, also, this one was used for giving speech. Uh, the whole building here, the whole monument here, is just the reception of the palace. And the, the, the area behind is the residential area. So you will see inside, that uh, this monument has like a cross uh, shape plan. Is this the Mary Clarence? That's a lot. <laughs> Two sub rooms in both sides uh, were used mainly for service. And uh, you see this cross uh, plan building is the reception of the royal palace. It was covered with the uh, same concept, wooden room. And uh, this one is a new one because it's for the same. Yeah. <laughs> they are curious to get involved in doing restoration in uh, such a monument like this one. Uh, mainly they were Spanish. Mm. You know, because the people who used to live here, the Umayyad, they are the same mosque. You know, the mosque who moved later to Europe. Uh, so they had the, almost the same uh, decoration. You see here, they use the geometric shape decoration. And this material, you can tell when you look at it, that it's not the authentic original. Uh, you know, the original is more like the uh, destroyed parts, like, like this one here. Uh, they used the, the concept of the niche, the Roman niche, is like Roman influence and Christian influence or Byzantine influence on uh, the uh, architecture of the Umayyad. Uh, as I told you, this just was uh, like for welcoming the uh, visitors and the guests while the residential area is behind. What they, what they did here, they used the Kalanad Street, the Kabul, you know, uh, they cut it and they used the part of it to be 
like the center of the residential area where you'd find the houses on both sides. Sophia, they, they use the same concept of the half door. They're the first um, um, living, like living on the Australian. Before the immigrants oh, yes, from Europe. Yes. And we take this stairway up, no. and uh, the same house where you can see that big group coming out of it, we are going to see it from the top. So uh, this is like the same example. You can go and see the house, but it's really outside. This is the same concept, is you find the Roman material were reused by the uh, Muslim. And you can tell that when you look at the columns, you can tell that they used the fragments of yeah. previous bricks uh, material. And uh, the front yard is here. You know, the walls were covered with the plaster. You can see part of the plaster remained. Mm -hmm. And then the rooms all around. And it used to be like, this is like a house, a typical house for the Umayyad people in that time. The rich one. Uh, like, uh, you know, it seems like it's not, it doesn't belong to one family. No. Because according to the size of it, and you imagine it used to be two or three floors. So this is more than family. So uh, maybe accommodation for uh, like uh, the server, the servants of the royal family or something. But this is the typical uh, design that keep used among, uh, you know, the people who live in Jordan, Syria, and if you, ha if you go to the North Africa, you would find this almost the same thing. Uh, Morocco, Algeria. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because they are the same Morsk who moved to Europe and then they moved to North Africa and they, they are the same people who moved to uh, Spain. Uh, we have uh, um, one monument left and then uh, you would have the chance to go to a small museum where they represent uh, the, you know, some artifacts were found around here you know th that that uh, where the towers are that's the west the most modern part of the city and this area here in the middle is called Luebda and this is like very famous uh, quite uh, and attractive for 
uh, you know, foreign, uh, student, foreign students, mm. uh, you know, you would find the, many, uh, the majority of the Christian families, they live here. It's like in the middle between, you know, the old part and, and the new part of the city. So where's our hotel? Is it it's over that way? way. Yeah, that way. Right yeah. there. Yes. With some of the buildings around Crown Plaza, there's the two very high. Ah, oh, that's... There's another one in it. It's been there's up. a big uh, corruption story about these two towers. And that's why they remained like in... Empty. <laughs> empty, yeah. Unfinished, yeah, unfinished since a yeah. long time. Mm -hmm. well, certainly, looking at it now. <laughs> I didn't think it was uh, you know, I, 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 didn't think one, no. I had a suggestion for them. I said if they use them for raising the pigeons, that would be Give a speech. It's a nice picture, huh? <laughs> 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 they used, you know, this uh, columns not for supporting the ceiling as much as they used them for, you know, making the lines of the prayers straight. And now they mm -hmm. use the same concept, but without using the columns, they use the lines on the carpet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the apps facing the south. Mm -hmm. Uh, the ceiling was uh, more like this. And where did it go? It's always facing this way. This is not the Islam that you, could, you see in the media that most of the time. This is not, it's, uh, it's not at all. So here, uh, you know, uh, you fly 
climb a few steps if you want to have a look to the it's a small museum. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh, made out of and the Ilpo. So, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Look how it's big it's that must made have been. out Where? of uh, marble brought from Carab from Italy. Oh, yeah. Can we go up in there now? Wait, so wait, 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 wait. So it's Luca? Yeah. So it's marble from Calabria. Yeah, that? Can't mm -hmm. Yes. And that's where that stone material came from. Can we go up this way? Can we go up this yeah. You can go this way. Guys, uh, it's time to be back oh, to the yeah. gate. Uh, it's just a street. Yeah. And as I told you, there's a restroom if you want to use before we leave because we will drive like 15 minutes to the restaurant. So let's say uh, quarter to one. Okay. Is that okay? Okay, so we got a bit of better burn in here. Come on, guys. That means there's no time to lose.